Hey guys, how's it going? It is Jared HD here. Welcome to the 53rd episode in our Fulham Road to Glory career mode series here in FIFA 20. We are in an interesting point of the season. We're getting closer to the January transfer window. Now, I want you guys to leave some comment suggestions or some transfer suggestions down in the comment section down below. Been taking a few mental short notes on what has been posted so far, but definitely want to get more of an idea on what we should be doing in January, but we have some critical games in the Europa League and the Premier League for today's episode, really wanting to solidify our spot in the table and definitely get back to winning ways and get on a run in the Premier League. But if you guys do want to enjoy today's episode, make sure you leave a like on the video. Also, if you're new around here, make sure you subscribe down below. And I just want to clarify something. I apologize if I look tired or sound tired. It's currently 7 a.m. in the morning here. I've just woken up and I don't know why. My first instinct was to jump on FIFA and play this save. So hopefully it's a good sign. But anyways, we have our first game of the episode here. Fenerbahce coming to the cottage to take us on in a crucial Europa League group stage game. A beautiful night under the floodlights of the cottage. A European night. I love that TIFO there of the Fulham badge, but we need three points here against Fenerbahce. So taking a look at our starting 11 for today's matchup. A few rotational players. It's been the same move. I've made for most of our Europa League games. Full strength in some aspects, but rotational in others. And from the Fenerbahce side of things, Marcus Alonso in there, Luis Gustafo. They've got a few decent names in there, but definitely we are overwhelming favorites heading into this one. Fener on the attack early here. I just can't allow any good shot opportunities for them. Ozan Tufan, who's a good player. Going there, they put that one in. We've got to get ourselves to it. Oh my god, Fenerbahce taking the lead there, but that is some absolutely pathetic man marking there in the box. I need to see who was marking him, but that was just disgraceful. A quick reply here, come on. Akun, former Turkish player from Slef Galatasaray, goes to Maitland-Niles. Back there to Yunus Akgun, through to Goretzka, Leon Correa. Correa might just pop it, and he puts it over. The crossbar, was that close at all here? The replay, it was just gaining height. Would have loved for that one to sneak into the top bin. Douglas Louise. Going to Ainsley. Ainsley, we're going to bolt down the line here. We've got a little bit of real estate down the right-hand side. We're going to go to Akun. Akun, good run from Matondo. Ravi Matondo! Got to finish from those areas. Get back here, Ainsley. Marcos Alonso's pushed up quite a lot. It's blocked. Just get rid of them. Oh, I've got to stop taking these touches. Good tackle, Lindelof. Come on. Counter-attacking opportunity, potentially. Meyer going there. Good run there from Arnie Meyer. Does he have the pace? He's got a bit of free real estate. Gets it off to Matondo. Matondo! What a, what a counter-attacking goal. Arnie Meyer and Robbie Matondo. Linking up and tying things up here at the cottage. Beautiful goal. It was a little bit how you're going there for a while, but great ball from Maya and a clean finish from the Welsh wizard, Rabi Matondo. They're looking to make the first blood here. Draw first blood, Fenerbahce. Gustavo, got to get someone in front of it. Don't let him get a good ball in. Alonso in there, headed from Vandenberg. Get there, Lindelof. He doesn't, but thankfully the header goes comfortably over. In that. Good stuff, Akun. Correa, come on. Correa looking for support. Goes to Leon Goretzka. Might just have a long shot here with Leon Goretzka. No, we're going to drag it back. Looking for somebody. Somebody make a run for us. We go. It's blocked. What a block. We had the run of Correa. We're going to get the corner, though. Leon Goretzka in there. Lindelof on the volley. Oh, it's found the back of the net. Victor Lindelof with maybe his first goal for the club. I can't remember if he scored any this season, but what an acrobatic finish it was. He's very happy about it as well, but I want to see who took a deflection there or whether it was just fully off Lindelof's boot. I'll take it regardless, but let's have a look here. Great goal. Did it take a deflection? It came in from Leon Goretzka. He's thrown himself at it. I think it's taken a slight deflection there. Let's get a behind angle. Here we go. This will tell us, hopefully. Lindelof. 
Hits it. It took a deflection off the chest of the player, but still, it's Lindelof's goal. Come on, Maya. Get a goal to secure it here. Oh, they've stolen it off Alonso, and now Atkins in a great position. Put the dagger in the heart of your former rival. Green time, follow up. Get there, Maya. Blocked. Oh, my God. How have we not secured the result there? Hopefully, though, Fenerbahce is just going to play around with it, like, in the back line, and they've done just that. And we have come away with a pretty touch-and-go 2-1 win. I mean, it wasn't the most comfortable result in the world, but it is a win nonetheless. Victor Lindelof's acrobatic finish sees us come away with three much-needed points in the Europa League group stages. Desperately need that momentum to carry over here. We're at home once again. It's a daytime fixture, but it is Manchester United coming to the cottage. So this is the starting 11 I'm rolling with for this must win game. A massive game here. Nico Elvedi, one of his final performances for the club. Need him to step up big for us, but it is a full strength starting 11 here. Martinez back into the starting 11. Come on, lads. And now for a look at the Manchester United starting 11. David De Gea, Juan Bissaka. They're not holding back any punches here. McTominay is wearing the captain's armband. Arthur, Christian Eriksen. What is this team? Oh my God, Man United have an insane... Look at that bench. What? Eriksen on the attack early here for the Red Devils. Just got a jockey. They're very good here. We can't give them an inch because they'll take nine. Deli Alley through to Martial. In there to Deli Alley again. Goes back to Scott McTominay. It's blocked the follow-up. Saves at the near post. From Dean Henderson. Let's go. Corner for United though after the Henderson save. Ericsson to Daniel James. It's a good touch and he's got good pace. He goes to Martial. For real. How can I stop that? Honestly, that is a rocket at the knee post. I feel like we have conceded so many goals at the knee post this season. It's unbelievable. Daniel James with a burst of speed. I had two players on Martial and he still managed to score that. Equalize it here. Maitland Niles going to Correa. Correa scoops that one into Martinez. I see the overlapping run going. Correa one on one save. Bloody hell. Pressure on them. Ah. United looking to start the second half off here on the front foot. They've got good numbers pushing forward. Martial don't let him shoot again. He goes to the near post again, but thankfully this one was a little bit more manageable for Hendo. Come on. Good area here of the field. Correa. Going back to Maya. We're going to go and look. Probably a Kakache here. Kakache back. Just looking for that good run in the middle here. It's Correa. Good angle. Red times him. It scores. Oh, he scored it. What the hell? I green time it and always hit the post. I red time that one with Angel Correa. And it nestles in the back of the net. There's the equalizer. One goal apiece against Manchester United. Let's go. United winning the 50-50 there. wan -Bissaka. I need to get everyone in position. wan -Bissaka going there to Ericsson. Need the midfield to drop back a little bit more in all honesty. But McTominay being jockeyed by Kikache. Goes to Martial who scoops it up. It's blocked. Get rid of it, Kikache. Good. But we're going to take a wicked deflection there. And there it is, lads. That is full time. Not too many highlights to report in this one. Would have been absolutely filthy if we conceded a death there. But you know what? Given how poor our form has been in this season... I will take a point against United as long as it means we're picking up points in the other fixtures. And this is one of those other fixtures that I was talking about. Away against Huddersfield, a game we need to be winning comfortably. We need a good result. Taking a look at the Huddersfield starting 11, Joel Coleman in between the sticks. Any big players here? Schindler, it's not a crazy side so far. Alex Pritchard, Chalabar, and then up front, and Benza, Mooney, and Pavelides. So. Not an insane side by any stretch of the imagination. And then our starting 11 for this game is as follows. The 4-3-2-1 formation once again. We do have the full strength back four stepping up there. Louise joining the starting 11 for this one. Correa, Richarlison, and then of course Martinez up front. So we need a result here. And we're putting out a very strong side to hopefully do just that. I would love to get an early go-ahead goal here. Richarlison going down the line to Kakache. Looking for numbers in the middle. We go back to Richarlison, however. Richarlison, Meyer, Louise. Come on, somebody make a good run. Martinez shoots it. Oh, he scored it! Latiru Martinez! What a banger! What a goal there from the Argentine. Didn't even green time it. That is the 
perfect start there. La Toro, or however you pronounce his bloody first name, scoring from an almost, like, what the hell? I'm used to conceding those types of goals. Not scoring those. The man was all over him like a rash. And he still found the back of the net. That is a killer instinct. Let's go. Good shit. Well won, Douglas Louise. Come on, Goretzka. I would love to double our advantage here. Maya going with Charleston. Martinez again. There it is. Martinez has a brace within the first half an hour. But that one wasn't an ambitious finish. That was some beautiful passing play. And a real tidy finish there from the Argentine. This is beautiful. Cannot allow Huddersfield a quick equaliser here. We've had a dream start. But they're going through with Chalaba. Good block from Elvedi. Come on, turn and run. Good show and go from Laturo. Time it. Beautiful ball. That is an exquisite ball to Richarlison who's got the pace. Make it three. Richarlison makes it three now. Let's go. Green time finish. This is a dream first half performance here. Exactly what the doctor ordered. A fourth goal early in the second half would surely put this one beyond Huddersfield's reach. I think it's going to be pretty hard for them so far, but it's going to be Taylor Crossdale. Oh, I was about to say make it a four, but he's hit the post. Off the bench and he's hit the post. Benza. Huddersfield getting a rare push forward here. Pritchard to go jockey with Elvedi. Going through. Oh, as if that one's fallen to them. Hendo, good save. As if that ball fell straight to them in that aspect. What the hell? Did they just park one straight to us? Correa is through now in the 90th minute. Let's make it four in stoppage time. Angel going. Richarlison blasted over the crossbar. But it does not matter. That is a dominant result here away at Huddersfield. 3 nil. hopefully kick-starting things again in the Premier League. Desperately needed that result. A little look at our youth squad monthly report. A lot of players growing quite nicely. We haven't discovered any like superstar players, but there's a few that I want to promote here and get into the side now and get some game time. So Yannick Frenzer, the German defender, only got mediocre potential, but I feel like it's always good to grow these guys and have them in the squad. So he'll come in. Cameron Green looks like a decent prospect, but might leave him in there for a while. George Alexander has 91 to 94 potential. I mean, there are a few players with good potential, but... I don't know how much game time they're going to get early on outside of cup games. A few that I might have to loan out, but I don't know. Let me know in the comment section down below what our youth academy really mindset should be because it's good, but not insane. But anyways, the final game of today's episode is back at home, back in the Premier League, looking for another win here. Newcastle United, your time is here. I would happily take another 3-0 result just like we had against Huddersfield. Whether that happens or not is a different story, but we can hope. Starting 11 for this game is as follows. So no surprises, Hendo is in between the sticks. The full strength back 4 once again. Goretzka drops back, Correa joins the starting 11. Angel, Richarlison and Martinez are the normal, but the boost front three. And then this is the Newcastle United starting 11. Dubravka, Yedlin, Rob you, holding their rock and a five the at the bank formation. Anybody decent in the midfield? Sergio Roberto's come in. Cucurea. So a lot of Spanish players in there, along with Andre Silva up front. Awobi on the bench. Come on. Correa to Correa. And now it's going to Richarlison. I see that overlapping run, which didn't really eventuate into anything. But that run has gone in. Martinez, he's got the pace. Decent angle. Finish. Finish is it. We take the lead. 29 minutes into this one. Martinez, magic baby. What a finish. What a goal. Newcastle looking for a quick equaliser here. Do not want to allow them that privilege. Basse. Or Baselli. Lindelof. Oh, you've got to just get rid of those ones. And it's gone there. That's such a frustrating goal to concede. That is such a frustrating goal to concede. Ah! Lindelof, mate. I've just got to clear those ones. What is that for a fucking touch? Bro! Newcastle, good stuff, mate. Lenar. I was about to say Newcastle on the attack, but we might have one last opportunity in this first half. And we've actually made a great run again there. Correa's going to get there. Correa's one on one. Correa puts us back in front with the last kick of the first half. 
sent to Brock on the wrong way. That is a tidy finish. And it feels like balance is restored in the universe after a very crap goal to concede. Correa fakes the goalkeeper out and puts us back in the lead. Come on, need to stop this onslaught from Newcastle United that is coming through early in the second half. Kukurea going over that there, uh, overlapping to Richie, who goes back to Mark Kukurea. Trying to jockey it here. They put the one at the near post. Drive on it! I thought we were going to get some FIFA raids and that was going to come off the back of bloody Hendo. They're going through. Get in front of it. Good stuff, Elvedi. Just uh, trying to play it from out the back. Yedlin just jockeying. They go back there to Bessay. Don't let him get a good shot off, but it's a good save from Dean Henderson once again. Mate, that was too bloody close for comfort, but you know what? We have grinded out the result here and come away with a 2-1 victory at home. Two wins on the trot in the Premier League. That is very, very good to see. And that's a good way to wrap up the episode. Lads, that is how we're going to conclude the 53rd episode of the Fulham Career Mode series. As you can see, it is an absolutely jam-packed December ahead of us. Some massive, massive clashes in the Premier League, in the Europa League, in the, I assume, Carabao Cup against Chelsea. So, oh, it's going to be a crazy few episodes. But lads, if you enjoyed today's episode, make sure... You leave a like on the video. Subscribe down below if you're new around here. I will see you for the next one very soon. It has been Jared HD here. I am out. Peace.